If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I like to experiment with different diet and exercise plans. From intermittent fasting in Thailand to getting six pack lean in eight weeks, I like to try new things and see what happens. During my last challenge in 2019, I shredded around five kilograms of fat in order to finally achieve a six pack look. But at the end of that challenge, I said that if I ever did something like that again, that I would do so from a heavier starting point. And so after moving here to the Gold Coast and waiting patiently for gyms to reopen after lockdown, I signed up at a new gym and started my new challenge to put on as much muscle in just 12 weeks. So in the last video, I was working out from home during quarantine. I ended up finishing that two week quarantine and gyms still weren't open yet. They didn't really open back up until mid June, which was a long time for me to wait, but I may do I'm still working out at home and going on runs. But during that time, I was thinking about when gyms reopen, what kind of training do I want to do and what should my next goal be? So as I mentioned at the start of the video, I did my eight week challenge last year, got really skinny, but it was totally unsustainable. I was killing myself you know, on this super calorie controlled diet, had no energy and by the end of it, I had like no fat on me whatsoever. So for this challenge, I wanted to do something different. I looked around at the different options and I found this gym called Never Quit Fit Factory. This gym seemed pretty cool on Instagram and also they had a build program which was basically combining bodybuilding style training with group fitness. And so I've gotten used to doing group fitness over the last few years, getting into CrossFit mainly. And so I wanted to keep doing group fitness, but at the same time, this was a good opportunity to kind of put on some size and still do that in a motivating group environment. So. This time, I signed up at this gym, went five days a week to train, and they also had a nutrition program that I could purchase online, so I decided to purchase that as well. I didn't follow it to a T, but um, I took some of the principles and combined it with some other things that I came up with myself. So for this program, uh, let's talk about the diet first. I followed a few key principles, some from the book, some just, just common sense stuff. Uh, one was I started eating breakfast again. Obviously, if I'm trying to gain weight and I'm fasting, that's a whole period of time that I could have been you know, consuming calories, protein, and that good stuff. So instead of intermittent fasting until midday, I had a breakfast smoothie, the recipe of which I found from the build program. It combined eggs, protein, peanut butter, protein powder, almond milk, all blended together to create this kind of high protein, high calorie smoothie. And then around mid morning, I tend to eat a protein bar just to get some extra protein in, extra calories in. The second principle I followed was from the book, it was trying to prioritize your carbs in and around training. So before I hit the gym at 4.30, I would have a piece of fruit. Afterwards, I would have a piece of fruit as well. And then after training for dinner, I would just eat whatever I want. But for lunches and everything prior to just before the gym, I would try to eat as little carbs as possible. So my lunches tended to be just a lot of meat and like an avocado or an avocado and a salad. They looked pretty hectic some of the time, but it was lots of protein and still lots of calories, just not focusing a lot on the carbs. Something else I started doing was I switched to decaf. I typically drink like maybe two cups of coffee a day, but I do it for the taste. So I don't really need that caffeine boost. I'm not really hooked on the caffeine. So what I did was I just switched to decaf and then I started taking pre-workout before the gym. So the theory behind that was that I would use caffeine only when I really needed it to give myself a boost during the workout. And the rest of the time I would just drink decaf and avoid caffeine as much as possible unless using it as a pre-workout. A few other things I took away from the build diet plan were supplementation. So I started taking zinc and vitamin D daily. So I started doing that as well. For diet, that's pretty much it. Just try and focus on eating more, not eating carbs before working out as much as possible. 
and not fasting basically. So I knew that, you know, I train pretty hard already. If I just consume more calories, just quit fasting, then I would be putting a lot more calories into my body. As for the training, that was a no brainer for me. I just had to rock up to the gym each day. The workout is on the board and just went through the movements with the rest of the guys. Pretty good. There was 12 weeks of four different phases, each phase being three weeks. So each phase would be slightly different. We would be doing uh, different tempos, different rep ranges, um, supersets, not supersetting, uh, band work, body weight work, all sorts of stuff. It was quite varied, um, more varied than what I would do typically um, at the gym if I was just doing a standard bodybuilding type program. I enjoyed the the difference in each week, uh, especially changing from phase to phase. After the three weeks, if you were bored with the exercises, well, it was gonna change. And yeah, it was just super simple for me. Just rock up to the gym, do the workouts, push as hard as you can. And um, that's of course gonna create the stimulus for you to put on the muscle mass. So pretty simple this time, not as big of a story as the eight week challenge in terms of calorie tracking everything and, and being super pedantic about it, just focused on eating more and training hard. So after 12 weeks, what was the effect on my body? Well, let's go back to day zero when I weighed in. Uh, I weighed in at 86.9 kilograms, so about seven kilos heavier than what I started at for the last challenge, which I found interesting. I didn't realize that I'd inadvertently put on seven kilos, but I guess you know, just the lifestyle I was leading, you know, and working out quite a bit was leading towards that. So yeah, I was already starting from probably the heaviest I've ever been anyway. And then throughout the 12 weeks, especially the first seven weeks, I was putting on, you know, muscle every, or putting on weight, whether that's muscle or fat, every week, pretty consistently up to like the seventh week. And then if we look at the graph, I just kind of went up and down and plateaued for the rest of the period. I ended up after 12 weeks, 4.6 kilograms heavier. So I'm now, or a week ago when I weighed in, was 91.5 kilograms. So make your judgments, is that a good rate or, or not? I don't know, but I feel like it's a good modest gain and uh, probably more important than the actual weight gain itself is the visual. So if we take a look at the before and after here, we can see that, you know, I think it's clear that I have put on size and definitely from the comments I've been getting, it seems like I did put on a bit of muscle. I had people from every area of my life saying, well, oh, you're looking big. My parents were concerned that I was getting too big. So those are all good signs that my diet and exercise plan were working. And especially during that first seven weeks, I was feeling pretty motivated, seeing progress. But then of course, seeing the scales kind of just fluctuate and plateau for the last five weeks was kind of demotivating. So not sure what was going on there. Maybe some of you guys might recognize this from your own bulks. If so, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, at the end of the 12 weeks, 4.6 kilos heavier. And the best part was I didn't kill myself doing it. So pretty easy uh, diet and exercise plan to stick to and something I could realistically continue doing for another 12 weeks. Right now, however, I am taking a little bit of a break from having a goal with my training, still training at the gym five days a week, but kind of going back to a similar diet to what I had before. Not sure what my next challenge should be, so I'm throwing it out there to you guys. If there's anything, anything particular you wanna see, want me to experiment with, let me know in the comments as well. But um, yeah, that's the experience, 12 weeks, 4.6 kilograms, so pretty happy with that. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.